in 2016 when my profile was deleted from Twitter. I remember I could still read Twitter. I could read the tweets. I just lost my profile. And I clearly remember it was for poking fun at Ed McMuffin, former uh, FBI director, CIA, or one of those Boy Scout agencies. Whoever he is, I made fun of him. And of course, the next day my profile was gone. But when Jack deleted my profile, or Twitter deleted my profile, I could still read Twitter. I mean, my profile was gone, and obviously I couldn't make a new profile, and I could not engage in the conversation. I can't post anything to Twitter. Uh, but I could still read it. Uh, funny thing is, the other day when Andrew Torba, founder of Gab, banned me from Gab, he IP banned me from Gab and Dissenter. All the platforms, everything to do with Gab. When he IP banned me, I can't even read anything on Gab. <laughs> so that means that Andrew Torba has actually imposed a greater degree of censorship than even what Jack did on Twitter. And what was I doing on Gab? Because, hey, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll admit it. You know, if I've made a mistake, I will apologize. But what was I doing? What's been going on on Gab? Well, it's been going on for about two years, for those who've really been paying attention, for as long as I've been there. Uh, I've posted 25,000 posts to Gab in the two years that I've been there. By the way, I was not given any uh, warning or notification on here, look, this is why you're suspended, here's why. So I was given nothing from Andrew, just instantly, profile gone, IP banned, can't even read what's being posted on Gab. Again, Jack just deleted my profile, Andrew. You have imposed an even form of gra even greater form of censorship in, in the the way that you've just IP banned me from even being able to read what is being posted on Gab. Why would you do that, Andrew? I'd like to know uh, which of the 25,000 posts I've made on Gab, for which of them have you decided to take this course of action? Uh, just curious. Don't want my profile back. Don't want to be on Gab. Uh, just curious which of the posts I've made. Uh, do you think is a bannable offense? Because here's what's been going on on Gab for those who've been paying attention. <laughs> oh, where do you begin? Well, you just started the beginning last week. Uh, let's start with Hank Reardon. How about that? Uh, on Gab, there are a slew, and I mean thousands, of, of accounts whose sole focus and sole agenda all day, every day, is uh, hailing the Nazis and... Uh, and uh, you know, downcasting the Jews. That's their that's their one job. That's they have one job on Gab. And that's all they do. <laughs> and there's thousands of them. Uh, very very obvious. There's thousands of them. One of them, one of the bigger ones, Hank Reardon was his name. Not real name. It's not his real name, folks. It's God. It's a character from Atlas Shrugged. You understand? It's, a, it's not even a real name. It's just a fictional character that he was using for his fictional account. Anyway, <laughs> last week, uh, I had the Hank Reardon ordeal where I just, I did not dox Hank Reardon, okay? I went to his publicly available profile from 2014 that was deleted from Twitter through the Wayback Machine, just like anybody can do, and took screenshots of who he portrayed himself to be back then and on Twitter. <laughs> and then showed people on Gab that for them to compare the 35,000 posts he'd made all on one thing, about the Jews, about the Jews, oh, it's, it's all about the Jews, all day, every day, all about the Jews, everything, ow, it's not my toe, oh, it's the Jews. I mean, it's just obnoxiously insane. I'm... It's almost like obvious troll, you know, especially when there's not enough real people to cover on, you know, to cover up the game that's being played. So, anyway, here's the deal. 
Hank Reardon was just one of many. Uh, I have pointed out the obvious with and exposed or whatever you want to call it over the last couple of years on Gab. He was just the last one. And when it happened, all of his teammates, like they always do, they run and they, you know, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you know, teammate down, teammate down. <laughs> we have to rah, 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 cause a ruckus and make it look like, you know, something bad has happened because this user was such a great guy and we need him back. And then during all that ruckus, who gets involved? Microchimp. Yeah, Microchimp. The world's famous fake account maker. He's so internet famous for creating nonsense all day long through fake accounts. Yay. Go Microchimp. He's also good buddies with Andrew. Real good buddies. How close are they? Well, we're going to find out. So, Microchimp, for some reason, gets very upset that Hank Reardon deleted his own profile. By the way, that's what happened. I presented that profile image to Hank and everyone on Gab, and Hank deleted his own profile in that instant, just like I told him he would, just like they all do. It's not that I'm psychic, folks. It's just that I've seen this thousands and thousands of times. I know how the game ends. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's ludicrous. So he deleted his account, Microchimp gets upset, starts crying, starts crying all over the internet about, about uh, how horrible I am, what a bad person I am. In fact, I'm so bad that he's going to contact his FBI, and he's going to look through all of my posts, and he's going to find something that he can use to frame me with the FBI, because Hank Reardon deleted his Gab account? Yeah, you're following this, right? That's what's happening. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. And when I ask him, why exactly would the FBI care that, that this fake account was deleted off Gab? And more importantly, why am I the criminal because it happened? What is... Anyway, Microchimp, of course, had no response to any of that. But he did have the response of running to the principal and saying, Principal, there's this kid that's going to whip my ass after school. And I'm scared to death. And so you need to get, he needs to be in trouble. <laughs> get him in trouble. And that's what he did. So anyway, this happens. And within a couple of hours of that, Andrew, click, IP bans me from the entire thing. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You see, I was complaining about the fake accounts doing their game on Gab because of what the effects that the game is having in the real world on people on social media, and they're completely unaware of it. They're completely immersed in this fake world where all of their perceptions are being managed artificially so that they can manufacture consent. Well, they've got a lot better tools than just manufacturing consent, but they're doing it on social media. And yes, they're doing it through artificial fake accounts. Uh, software that allows them to manage a bunch of different profiles and play whatever game of chess they want on the world mind at any time, all just by fabricating it. That's what I was pointing out on Gab. That's what I've been pointing out for 25,000 posts. I'd just like to know which one is upsetting to Andrew. Now, at the time, I didn't know what I'm about to tell you. But as it turns out, see, a lot of these fake accounts, they're not ran by, all of them aren't ran by DARPA or the Mossad or some secret shadowy government agent. No, most of them, and I'm talking 70% of them, are ran through advertising agencies, ad firms that do marketing campaigns, okay? I'm talking about GWA out of Pennsylvania. You can call Steve Fagnano right now and ask him how much a, a marketing package will cost for, you want know, to boost your brand on social media. Anyway, most of these things are being done through ad firms, okay? Come to find out, Andrew Torba owns another company that offers the service of social media marketing and ad campaigns all through fake accounts, all through fake accounts like the ones Microchip is famous for, right? And instantly, I'm banned from Gab for pointing it out. 
Andrew, if you're playing a game for the SEC or whatever, and you're inflating your numbers, trying to boost your traffic to sell some whatever, I, hey, that's one game. I'm not even down with that. That's one game. But the other game that I was pointing out is causing more harm to society. It's causing people to lose their minds. And it's actually tearing apart the fabric of society. So if you want the world to get better instead of worse, don't contribute to it. Anyway, we'll see what comes out in the wash. This is what's happened on Gab. Gab is not free speech. <laughs> not even... Gab isn't even a free domain in the sense of the content there is completely artificial. There is so few real people on there, actual human beings, and compared to the barrage of nonsense that's being posted artificially, either to inflate the numbers or play the game that I'm talking about on people that are unsuspecting, either way, that's what's going on. I'm Chad Lilly. Just pointing it out. I'm also on Minds now. If you'd like to join me there and continue the conversation, look forward to hearing from you.